Hey everybody. Well, it's uh, the beginning of October and uh, we're doing a Appalachian mountain hike. We're actually going to camp out on top of a mountain. And uh, the ridge line that we're going on is actually one of the tallest ridge lines on the east coast. So just to kind of give you an idea. But uh, the trees are already changing colors. The leaves are falling. And uh, it's getting down in the 40s at night time. Probably 30s up there. So, And uh, with my good old buddy Ryan over here. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But um, but yeah. Hopefully there's no bears. Alright, so four hours later, uh, we finally made it to the top. And the view up here is absolutely amazing. I mean, just take a look. And we're, we're over 6,000 feet up. We're about 6,400 feet up right now. That's Mount Mitchell right over there. The tallest mountain on the, on the east coast. And uh, we're going to be heading down this trail right here. And then on the ridge over there <coughs> was where we're going to be camping at. Yep. And uh, this is awesome. Alright, so we made it to this beautiful meadow on top of a mountain. Ryan's calling it the, the Utopian Meadow. And that, that fits it. That fits it pretty well. But we've got some nice big rocks around here. Even like a little bench right there. Big fire pit. <laughs> and one hell of a view, man. So yeah, this looks like camp for today. Oh man. A couple of trees to hang the hammer from. Oh yeah, yeah, it's perfect, man. Right there, maybe. Maybe right here to, to that tree. You got enough rope? I got it, yeah. Yeah. Alright, time to sit down. Alright, so I'm gonna get a try to get a fire going before uh, the sun goes down. We've probably got less than an hour. But um I'm going to try it the old-fashioned way with some flint and some steel. I've got lighter, but let me try it like this first. And there's tons of really good grass around here. Start getting... Yeah, stuff's really dry. So, I'm going to start collecting. Alright. So, I made like a little nest with uh, the dried grass, and I put a little bit of paper I found down in there. And... Let's see if I could get something going on there. And I got just regular cheapo steel flint. And um, I'm going to scrape some of that uh, magnesium or whatever that is off. And I use my knife for that. So I'm just going to tuck it down in there a little bit.
cattails or something. <laughs> I got a newspaper. <laughs> yeah, newspaper might work. I need more time and I don't have any time right now. So it is what it is. <laughs> a bear burrito, huh? Bear burrito tonight. This thing came out pretty good. Yeah. I'll be cold as shit though. Yeah, right. be comfy. So I decided to use a lighter. And start putting some sticks on here and stuff. What are you doing, man? Well, I had to get my chair set up first. This, this is my chair. So I'm just sitting here uh, chilling and uh, enjoying the view. The sun's about ready to start going down. Got the fire going. Gave up on the flint and uh, just went with a lighter. I know I'm gonna catch so much crap from you guys, but uh, but yeah, I just uh, went the easy way, the easy way of doing it. Could have been prepared. I could have done the cotton balls uh, and uh, Vaseline and stuff like that. Really got it going, or even some cattails because there's some cattails down there by my house. But, um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, enjoying some homemade wine right here. And this is, uh, from the grapes, from the grapes from the barn. Actually, uh, Ryan made this batch right here. I've got some at the house and, um, that I made from the grapes. And, uh, this stuff's pretty good. I think he tested it. It's like 5% or something like that. It's not much, but he didn't use any yeast, just sugar and grapes, a little bit of water. It's real grapey, like really, really strong grape juice, Concord grape juice. So, doesn't get much better than this.
Alright, so I got the tent up. Now, uh, this is Ryan's tent. This actually isn't my tent. Um, his tent's about half as heavy as mine, but mine's a little bit bigger, and, and uh, it, this would work. You know, he's got a nice little tent, but it's like a little one-man tent, maybe two people. But uh, I just wanted to show you the view from in here. You got looking out. It's one heck of a view. The sun just kind of went down.